Yeah, hello. Since a few of you asked for the English version of this, how I make the lever working and the zigzag adjustment wheel, I have the intention to help you out and made this clip now for you. Okay. Normally there are, when this lever here is blocked, you can uh, open this screw you take it out and then you can take out this mechanism here. Uh, I will not take this machine apart now because it is adjusted and it has to be sold. So uh, you have to take out this lever uh, with uh, precaution because when you, you don't want to use force on this part here. Uh, you can break it off. I have broken several of them, about two or three pieces. Uh, you see here the yes now you see it you see this is a part of itself there is the differential line this is the housing and this is the adjustment mechanism when you open this screw you take it out you can you have to lever it out like this up or down and then you can take this out when this is uh, um, gunked up with the with the protection wax inside the machine and when you have trouble with this mechanism um, yeah exactly with this mechanism here then is then is here is a spring nut or a spring uh, ring uh, it's it is cramped around uh, a metal groove you take a special uh, plier for this to open it up and then you take it from the from the from the well from the axis here this part here is the spring ring and then you can open this screw and you hammer from behind slowly you hammer on this where is it here you hammer on this part you can hammer um oh i need some some tool or at least a key this is my car key uh you hammer here on the on this on this axis yeah zoom in well, thank you. And then you take out this, you just take out the, 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 the axis here, this piece, this rod of steel. And you clean this uh, good with, with, uh, with some uh, brush and uh, petroleum. And you clean the, the metal uh, rods, the hardened steel rods with some... Yeah, well, you can use some diesel, petroleum, or uh, you take some uh, sanding paper. This will work too. When uh, many things are um, gunked up, then you take uh, uh, a syringe and drip in on all oil parts, uh, petroleum or diesel, and then you wait a few minutes. Uh, or you can just uh, try to move the parts uh, while you should waiting like I told you now you can wait or you don't can wait it's up to you um, do this outside because diesel or any petroleum when it is dripping down the machine it will drip on your on your table your uh, flat starts to stink and your wife will hit you with the with whatever she will find because it smells like ass. Um, when this is not working with just moving the parts and dripping petroleum inside the, the joints, you can uh, take some air, uh, some hair dryer, uh, 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 yeah, hair dryer to dry your hairs on a zzz machine, okay, and then you heat up this part of the machine, the complete part here. Because all joints that are gunked up normally are up here inside in this in this part. 
Uh, when the machine, when you, it, it should have about 40 to 50 degree, then it is warm enough to, to, um, release or soften the skunk. When you then drip inside, when the, when the diesel or petroleum will react with the, with this wax inside, as a react, it will soften it and solve it. Then, um, the job is almost done because the, the diesel has oil in it. Uh, you can then re-oil it with some machine oil and well then the the mechanism should work uh, in in good uh, condition when it is not working there are then you can have the, when it is working you have the luck of it is working because you take the effort uh, i had machines where i could not uh, repair the mechanism because uh, it also I could, but it would have uh, too long in time. You have to, as I would throw it, I would sell this. I would sell a machine, a machine like this that is uh, needing two to three hours repair. I would not do that because it is too expensive for me. I don't make a profit there. So for you, I would uh, tell you the same. Uh, think some uh, economics. When you have longer than three hours to repair such a machine, you don't make a profit. We sell those machines here for about um, 200 to 400 Swiss francs. That's about uh, the same in dollar. So they are ex really expensive here because they are really there's some of the best designed machines, and they can you can sue with them uh, leather and stuff. This is not possible with other machines. So again, when you have too long to repair it and it is not working in your direction after two hours, sell this machine as a, uh, as a part supplier for 100 euro and get you a new one or 100 dollar and search another one that you can uh, repair for certainty or where you did um, learn what you could repair and what not. You, we cannot repair anything on that on such machines when this. When this plastic wheel here is uh, defect or destroyed, I would not take the machine apart. I would sell it uh, like it is, uh, as a supply part uh, machine, because it takes too long. So, economics, economics. Um, well, that is usually the only problem that appears uh, on these machines. I had not encountered other problems than this uh, joint or this joint was gunked up with this uh, um, storage protection wax well when this <coughs> um, chain belt here that drives the the machine um, gets too old it can break up in its uh, pieces so you can change those but you have to take the whole machine apart Again, they think ec economical. Is it is is it is worth my time or not? And well, I have to choose. Often, it is not worth my time. I like these machines, but not as much as <coughs> that. I burn cash or time on them like like a fool. You can change this um, belt easy. You just have to take this. Uh, this um, wheel here or this uh, part off then you then you have to open down here this um, protection part that uh, is is it like an air vent for the for the um, machine's motor and down here is a wheel when you take off this wheel with the screw you have to uh, unscrew a screw it is on the wheel then you take off the wheel you will not get the belt off without taking the wheel off so um, when you try to uh, take the belt off the the system without taking uh, off the the screw and the the pulley down here that drives the 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 belt uh, you will rip the belt apart i have destroyed one belt it will not happen ever again because well you have to learn well, that's it. And oil, oil, oil when, you're, when you have opened the machine, oil all these uh, joints inside here. Anywhere where it's red, you have to oil. That's that's it. And this part here, I would oil with uh, with some piece of uh, 
towel and oil you just take the towel oil it oil the towel and then turn the machine and oil this part too so it will never rust or it should almost not rust in 10 to 15 years you have now very good um, oil and protection uh, well the solutions or chemicals uh, I take almost uh, every time some wax uh, I have some spray wax too there are they will not um, they will not gunk up in 10 to 20 years because they have some um, boah, what ich mache auf Englisch they have some so they they are they, they are soft waxes uh, designed soft waxes uh, chemical engineered soft waxes they will not get um, hard in uh, five or ten years so you can use them to protect this uh, kind of machines don't spray anywhere wax on this uh, uh, transport systems or components uh, when you wax such a belt like this uh, you uh, rub it from the, the the grip yes i know it is a chain belt i know it is uh, lying inside uh, like a, a chain on a bicycle but i would not wax these parts because when i start to do this here i will uh, go into this habit by other machines and that is uh, not uh, good uh, to do well uh, those wax um, waxes or wax sprays I talked about. This is a uh, built hamper test such um, waxes. Um, built hamper has uh, SB wax. This is a black uh, or a brownish um, wax, and they have uh, three kind of waxes you can use for this. They are called um, rust inhibitors. It's just a, a soft wax in a in a solvent you, you spray on. It is really a it is a very um, genius uh, designed uh, uh, protection wax. I use it for my car and anything else. <coughs> okay, that's it again. To to un to unsettle this or make this workable again, you can you can take this part out, lose this, uh, open this screw, loosen it, taking it out, wiggle it down. And film what you do because it is it is a hassle to get this thing back in. It is like a like a, like a maze here. You have to you find you have to find the way of the parts that so they fit back in. And you can take is you can take out the rod that is um, uh, holding these joints by take taking out this spring screw this this. Uh, spring ring with the with the with the special plier you don't use your screwdriver you can you can break this spring rings really easily uh, i didn't kill one on such a machine but i killed uh, a few on other things so take the, the special pliers cost about five dollars and then hammer on this rod so it comes out here clean it clean the joints inside here with some brush and petroleum and you're good to go that's it thank you and have a nice day enjoy your machines bye